Hey, what's up guys? Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and welcome to another installment of our customer build series. Now, this is a video series where we feature different customers from our build pages here at AM. You're gonna see a ton of cool Mustang builds along with a ton of photos and a bunch of modifications with links for each mod. And honestly, it's a great way to get some inspiration for your own ride at home. We got a guy named Jacob coming to us from Virginia with a beautiful 2008 Shelby GT500. What do you say we talk to Jacob? Jacob, how you doing, man? I'm really good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us today, appreciate it. We're definitely gonna talk about this gorgeous 2008 Performance White Shelby GT500 I'm looking at. Uh, how long you own the car, sir? Seven years now, I believe but no more bank note. With these things, I always like to have people kind of walk us around the car. In your case, so I'm gonna give you a softball right down the middle. This is definitely, I think, the first thing that catches everybody's eye when they see your car for the first time. A GT500 on bags. Uh, talk a little bit more about your experience with that. I had a 2006 GT and I had it stagnant. I had it, you know, really low and I would scrape on everything, getting out of driveways, speed bumps. Uh, so when I got the uh, Shelby, I wanted it low, but for me, I found the biggest benefit was actually being able to lift the car up, you know, a few inches over stock ride height to get over speed bumps and in driveways. So slamming it is cool, but uh, man, not having to repaint your splitter is really cool. <laughs> it is a lot cooler, right? No, I'm totally with you, man. The thing looks great. I love the uh, bronze wheels, by the way. So you got like a drag pack in the rear with a Ford Star up front. Um, yeah, how's that ride for you? Oh, it's great. I really don't lose traction in second. You know, if I'm really getting on it first, it's still hit or miss, but for uh, street purposes, it does everything I need it to do. Awesome, man. Now let's talk a little bit more about appearance. Then of course, we'll get into performance because that's what a lot of people want to hear about with the Shelby, of course. But appearance wise, I mean, you got a lot going on as well. That hood is definitely radical. Is that a Cervini's Invader? It's the Cervini's Type 4. I like that a lot. And you got also some of the MMD, the, the Eleanor scoops working for you as well for the quarter windows. And that front chin, is that just basically your stock chin just painted? It is. And okay. the side skirts as well. Um, out back, I noticed you have some Raxium taillights going on the Gen 5s. How are you liking those? That was actually the first mod I bought. When I got the car, it was bone stock. Uh, that was like one of the first things I bought for it. They had just come out, so they were the new hotness. <laughs> yeah, I still think they're the, uh, the they're still the hotness. I know there's been some other ones that have come afterwards, but for my money, I think that's some of the better looking aftermarket S197 taillights there are. As far as under the hood, um, you have some dress up stuff and you have some Rosso stuff going on as well. And you also have the MMD, like the master cylinder and the battery cover. I dig it. What's uh, You've obviously been to our show before. Um, would you consider yourself like a show guy, like a, a drag guy? I know you and I talked a little bit about drag racing, but maybe a little bit of both. I'm just a guy, man. Like, uh, I'm just a Mustang guy, you know? Uh, the Mustang fits so many like niche groups. You can have, you know, the show guys, the drag guys. Don't paint me with one brush, damn it. That's what it is, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. I want the car to do a little bit of everything. Well, let's get to the, the hot topic, I'm sure, and that is performance. Obviously, this shall be, you know, stock. They're, they're nasty, we know that, but it looks like you got a lot of stuff going on. You got a 265 upper along with a 15% lower. Uh, have you had the car dynoed? So right now it's sitting at 600, like 605 horsepower with a 580 torque. She's running pretty good then, I guess, huh? She does all right. <laughs> I bet. In addition to that, you also got, I see the Steeda Cold Air working with you, the twin 65 millimeter. But damn, how loud is that thing with the Flowmaster and the headers? The uh, funny story about those Outlaws, actually. Do you know the uh, red GT500 that y'all did on the build? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ed? Yeah, Ed Pazman, so yeah. he's a buddy of mine. He actually changed axle backs and gave me those. Those are a piece of AM history then, huh? <laughs> That's what it is, yeah. That's awesome, but it's probably loud as hell though. I mean, you got long tubes, you got cats on it, so that helps a little bit, but damn. Yeah, the car when I started up, like, it scares you. Like, if you're not paying attention, typically everyone jumps, you know, you'll get some screams from a few of the faint of heart. Oh, I bet, dude.
And you guys want to see more of Jacob's badass ride, be sure to check out his build page at AmericanMuscle.com, or if you're watching this on YouTube, just go ahead and click on that link below. Now again, you and I were talking a little bit about drag racing, and, and I know more specifically your 60 foot stuff, and that's what you're going to be working on next, just to kind of improve on those ETs. You got some of the SR stuff working for you, lowers and uppers. Really curious to how you think the air ride works at the strip, at least helping your 60 or not helping. What do you, I mean, what do you think? So being a hard-headed person that I am, th the thing is like you can't be fast on bags, you know, bag, bag cars or slow cars. I want to be fast on bags, tuning it and playing with it, trying to get it on the scales and get everything dialed in. Uh, there are some things I want to change, um, like maybe go with the rear shocks, go into like a, a biking shop that has more adjustability in the shock itself instead of the bag. The bags, I mean, it's just a suspension once it's up. You know, it's, it's just like the spring. It's like a spring, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I know a couple guys that are fast on bags. I mean, uh, Beefcake went fast with his S, uh, S, I think it was a 550, S550, I think it was an 18 or something. Josh Baker's got an S550 as well that's fast on bags. I mean, it's not like it can't be done. It's just sometimes people maybe say it's like the road less traveled, I guess, right? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Really waiting for y'all to get those driver mods back in stock. <laughs> you know, I think we're all out of those right now. You know, I think I might have bought the last one. Tell everybody at home watching maybe what your next step is for the car. I'm really looking at a blower. Um, I'm torn between the Whipple and a BMP, especially like the Gen 3 that they came out with. Anything to get the car up to like 800 where I don't have to really rebuild the motor, can leave the drivetrain where it's at. You know, make it as cheap as possible to be as fast as possible. <laughs> That's the goal, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That old pick three, cheap, fast, and reliable, right? Or pick two, yeah. It's not always easy, man, to go fast on a budget, but hey, more power to you. I think we've all tried it in some way, shape, or form. As long as I can get the blower and then build into the blower, I guess. Now, I've seen a lot of stock block 07 and 09 Shelbys make a lot of power and not break. I mean, I don't know for how long, but I'm sure you could definitely get up there around 800 with the fuel system and maybe some E85 and, and party, you know? I dig it, and uh, tell everybody again, Air Force, correct? Yeah. Yeah, 10 years, you said? Yes, sir. That's awesome, man. Thank you for your service. And uh, now you're out. You're out there kicking ass in jujitsu, correct? Yeah, I help out of school, uh, Impact Martial Arts Academy in Virginia Beach, doing jujitsu and rolling every day, man. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. Well, listen, I'm a big fan of the car, uh, everything you've done to it. Dude, I wouldn't change a thing. I think it's badass. Maybe that Whipple or that, that, that you know, VMP, but that's about it. Yeah, y'all can help me out with that. <laughs> we'll get right on that. We'll send that out with the driver mod, all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, no stock, just hit me up. Gotcha, man. Well, listen, Jacob, it's been a pleasure, dude. Honestly, beautiful car, man. And uh, who knows, maybe these guys can check you out at our uh, next AM Mustang show. Oh, I'll definitely be there. Sounds good, brother. All right, take care of yourself, man. All right, guys, well, there you go. That was Jacob. That was a fun one. Jacob's a really cool guy. Again, we want to thank him for his decade of service in the United States Air Force. And uh, what a cool ride, right? I mean, as a fan of white Mustangs, uh, more specifically, badass white Mustangs, Jacob's ride certainly fits the bill, even if his neighbors hate him a little bit. Uh, but guys, again, if you want to learn more about Jacob's ride, you can check out his build page at AmericanMuscle.com. Or as always, just go ahead and click on that link below. But for now, guys, I'm Justin. Hey, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And remember, for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.